Hello everyone and thanks for joining me on today's trip report. I'm about to head back now to London Gatwick having arrived in from Heathrow earlier on today. Enjoy the trip report. If you didn't see my British Airways trip report, click the link above to see what their long haul economy class was like. I have arrived into Terminal 4S, which is located in the centre of the airport, and is a 20 minute transit to the Terminal 4. Luckily, I can get a bus across the airport to my flight departing from Terminal 4. The terminal here is extremely quiet, but very modern and spacious. There is a wide range of shops and plenty of places to see the planes from. I really love the architecture of this building. Have you travelled through here before? So our bus ride of five people takes us across the airport to our plane in Terminal 4S. You can follow me on Instagram to see pictures of my flights and sneak peeks of upcoming trips. So if you're into aviation, go and check it out. So as we taxi to the runway, the sun is slowly setting over Spain. What a lovely time to be flying. Today's flight will take us up to 36,000 feet as we track north over the Pyrenees Mountains, past France and back to Gatwick. Let's take a look at what this seat has then. Firstly, there's a handy hanger for your coat, as well as a rather small tray table, but it's clean and sturdy. Unfortunately, the legroom on this aircraft was quite disappointing and the width of the seat was also very cramped. However, there are USB ports which are located under the seat which I find very useful. In the seat back pocket you'll find the safety card as well as the in-flight refreshments magazine. There's a wide range of light snacks and drinks available to purchase on board.
And finally, there is an in-flight magazine. This has got to be my favourite page. So as we continue to head north, the light begins to fade outside the window. So overall, Iberia Express provided a quick and efficient service, but quite honestly, the onboard comfort was not too great. The seat was small and the legroom was cramped. However, the cabin crew were very pleasant and we arrived on time. I hope you enjoyed this trip report, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. But for now, this has been Citavia Asian Plane Spotting. See you later.